want to begin today at 4 with flooding that affected hundreds of people at Greenbrier Campground in Sevier County. You know, they had to be evacuated last night to a nearby elementary school. It was such a treacherous time, but many are grateful it simply wasn't worse. Panic ensuing late Tuesday night as water gushed from higher elevations in the Smoky Mountains to the Greenbrier Campground. I completely panicked. My boys were in the bed, and I was like, Guys, get up! The area, once filled with campers, tents, and RVs, quickly becoming part of the Little Pigeon River. People screaming and you know, kids crying. Justin Spurk and his wife were preparing to go to sleep in their tent when a neighbor shook them awake, urging them to get to higher ground. We had to like stack uh, picnic tables like two on top of each other just because the water was like you know up to here, like you know. So we had to go. All the adults, we pretty much stood in the water and put the kids up on top. Spurk and his neighbors were eventually rescued. Rescued by first responders. Spurk thankful the biggest thing he lost was his tent. But in another area of the campground, another family was struggling. I was panicking the whole time. Jorge Alcantar and his family are from Florida. They were enjoying exploring the Smokies. Hours later, Alcantar was forced to watch as his family, including his four year old daughter, climbed onto nearby picnic tables to escape the rushing river. I was, I was yelling. Uh, my dog was trying to go cross the river. Um, I tried to, but it was, it was too strong. Um, there's debris flying by. Family's okay. They got they got on the bench, on the, the picnic table, and they was waving the, the lantern, make sure they're okay. Um, trying to get help. I went to the front, and um, everybody's panicking. Alcantar also watched as his two cars were swept away by the current. The white SUV. That's actually my mother's law car. The one that was like this, and then the blue Hyundai. That was, it was um, against a tree with another truck on top of it. Ours was a blue car. So look, like both of our cars got, like we just parked right beside each other. And once I seen that, like I was, my heart dropped. But I just thank God for how everything turned out. Oh man, a lot of people are so relieved right now. Very, very relieved that it wasn't worse. Uh, Paige is still out there with our crew. She's going to join us at five and six with updates on what these families have been going through.